Also this week, the First Presidency of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints invited Samoa's Prime Minister to visit our beautiful state. News specialist Tamara Vaifanua shows us the warm welcome BYU students gave her to make her feel at home. This was her first visit to Utah as Samoa's Prime Minister, and it gave her a chance to connect with Samoan students attending BYU. From the moment Samoa Prime Minister Fiume Naomi Mata'afa stepped onto the BYU campus, students crafted a welcome leaning on the Fa'a Samoa or the Samoan way. Welcome Her Excellency Fiume Naomi Mata'afa and thank her for being here today at Brigham Young University. They performed what's called an Ava ceremony, a custom symbolizing love and respect. The community capturing this historic moment Mata'afa represents an important milestone in Samoan politics, the first female prime minister and a longtime advocate for gender equality. It's really lovely to see all the people here. Just walking into here, it's sort of like a little mini Samoa, you know, in the middle of um, BYU. It was a huge honor. Sophomore Sage Purcell never imagined having this kind of access to Samoa's leader. Just to have an example of her as far as like education um, and also just showing that we as women can be leaders, um, I think it meant a lot more to be able to be a part of this ceremony. My mom is from Up in Upolu, she's from the village of Aimoso, and my dad is from Tula in American Samoa. It's a full circle moment for Gila Sosi. And my parents, my grandparents have um, dug wells that have given me opportunity not only to be in this ceremony, but to be at BYU to be in the United States. Mata'afa encouraged these young Samoans to share their faith. It's such a privilege uh, and we, mu we must always not only be thankful for it, but utilize it, you know, in the best way possible. And look for ways to serve. Just making those connections, it's, I think it's what makes life meaningful. The Prime Minister says she looks forward to visiting Utah again and hopefully building bridges. For KSL News, I'm Tamara Vaifanua.